Good evening, guys. Welcome to Life Apollos. Happy to have you here. We've got a heck of an episode for all of you that tuned in tonight. Uh, some pretty crazy stuff happened to Daily Driven Exotics. Uh, a brand new Strad scam started to pop up all over the place, and a lot of other crazy stories from some of your favorite automotive and supercar creators. And yes, before I get any crazy comments in the comment section below, uh, we have sort of taken our white LP hat out of retirement for tonight's episode. I don't know, I was feeling something a little bit different. It looks a little bit worn though. It's been uh, around for a couple years. And as always guys, make sure to subscribe to the channel on our march to 300,000 subscribers. Uh, trying to grind out great content for all of you on a daily basis. Megan and I do this full time now. So if you wanna help support the channel, subscribing, liking the video is all we really ask that you do. Beard Nation, welcome to the show. Let's get ready to work. First up today guys, you know we like to start our episodes off with a big congratulations or milestones. and we're celebrating yet another one for Amelia Hartford. Her latest video says it all. We broke the world record again. Fastest C8 Corvette on planet Earth. I want to say that her new fastest time is 9.36 in the quarter mile. A pretty massive achievement, guys. And really, the C8 has been her ticket to the top of automotive YouTube. It's actually kind of crazy, guys. When the C8 first came out, uh, pretty much every major automotive channel bought one or said they were going to buy one. Uh, but very few of them decided to stick with the car as long as Amelia Hartford has. What Amelia Hartford has been able to do with her channel over the last year and a half, uh, pretty much ever since she bought her C8, has been nothing short of astounding and is really a very different sort of marketing move than most automotive channels. If you think about it, larger channels, and you can probably think of who I'm talking about here, buy a lot of cars, they do a couple adjustments to it, like wheels and an exhaust and a wrap, and then they're basically done to keep the same car for so long, continually doing different things to it, is kind of a rarity in automotive YouTube these days. Now that's not knocking anybody, uh, just a very interesting uh, observation from the side. Most large channels buy and sell cars very quickly. To see someone stick with a car that long is actually kind of cool. Go watch our latest video, guys. Wish her a big congratulations and on to our next story. Next up, guys, a channel that we haven't talked about too much before, uh, but I had the pleasure of meeting on the Long Tail Rally. Automotive Life has a brand new video out called Atlanta Rental Car Scam, Turo Broker, $500,000 loss on Lamborghini. This is actually a pretty crazy cautionary tale. Lucky runs this channel and does a really great job of sort of laying out exactly what happened and what to be aware of if you're gonna jump into this particular section of automotive. Uh, crazy video, great channel, go check it out today. One of the newer channels we're mentioning in today's video. Next up guys, I wanna make sure I mention Protective Film Solutions latest video. Uh, their latest one is about the Ferrari SF90 Stradale, paint correction, PPF, window tint, and ceramic coating. So if you don't know, Protective Film Solutions, I believe is the largest uh, protective film company in North America. Uh, they do a lot of crazy stuff. Obviously everything we just mentioned, uh, they typically have a number of hyper cars in their shop. They service pretty much all of the LA area and all the, the biggest hyper cars that you've seen most likely go to them. Uh, seeing them start to do more on their YouTube channel is a really cool thing. We're gonna get access to some crazy hyper cars uh, in the likes of which you probably don't see very often in automotive YouTube. Just kind of an interesting side of the normal hypercar stuff. Check it out today, great video with the SF90 Stradale. Next up guys, moving right along, I just can't seem to get enough of the Rimac Nevera and CarWow has blessed us with another video on that incredible hypercar. It's called 2000 horsepower Rimac Nevera review with zero to 60 mile an hour, quarter mile brake and drift test. So now it's kind of legend at this point guys, the Nevera versus the SF90 on the CarWow channel blew up pretty much all over the place. Uh, I wanna say it's around 4 million views right now, which is just, uh, absurd for pretty much any automotive channel. It's one of the reasons why CarWow, uh, for a long period of time, and they might still be in this air, uh, have the largest automotive channel uh, in terms of views per month on YouTube. It's a pretty crazy thing, but it's because we get certain content like this pretty much every day. I would highly recommend you take a look at this video, guys. The Nevera represents a new wave of electric hyper cars uh, coming uh, to the world. The Lotus Avaya is gonna be in the same sort of rarefied air from everything that we've heard. I'm extraordinarily excited to see more about it, even though I'm sort of a purist in a lot of ways. I do love V10, V12 sounds, but it's hard not to get excited about what this car represents for the future. Next up, guys, and right before we hit our main stories of the day, a double dose of Schmidt 
me uh, visiting Rolls-Royce London, the most exclusive car dealership in the world. Uh, if you happen to be a luxury or hyper luxury car fan, or you just like Rolls-Royces, make sure to check this video out, guys. I I've never thought of myself as someone that would buy a Rolls-Royce, but watching this video, it makes me think there might be something there. I've always sort of been like a supercar guy, not like an ultra luxury guy, but I can be swayed. Make sure to go check it out today. And Triple F Collection, guys, uploading an entire video behind the scenes with Shmi when he went to visit them. Uh, I think it's fascinating to see these videos, and we don't often get a chance to see some of our favorite creators, uh, like Stradman, Shmi, Doug DeMuro, behind the scenes when they're off camera. Uh, this is gonna sound very strange. That's not a put down at all. A lot of them seem much more normal when they're not filming in front of their own camera. And I think that's actually kind of refreshing. And not surprisingly, I'm pretty much the same way, guys. Uh, this particular persona is a little bit different on camera. I'm a little bit quieter, more laid back in person. If you ever meet me anywhere, you'll probably get that right away. Anyway, two great videos on Shmi's channel and Triple F Collection. Next up today, a crazy thing happening to daily driven exotics. Uh, when they were out on a drive in their McLaren, 675 LT. Uh, no doubt, I, I would imagine we're most likely going to get a full vlog on this very soon, uh, but essentially they were out in their McLaren and then a crazy head-on collision happened in front of them and they had the entire video there uh, sort of on Instagram stories uh, right now. Watch the video right here. Well, we got a little action today. So Dave and I are in the uh, 6M5 LT at a light and literally witnessed a head-on collision right in front of us. I actually thought they were gonna spin, come towards us, oh, but yeah. they actually slowed down. You can see. Right in front of us. So we're stuck here now, uh, just dealing with being the people who called 911. Wild. Glad everyone's okay. Airbags did their job. That was fast. That's fucking crazy. He was doing like 60, 70 kilometers an hour, and they were turning left to a dead stop. Now, it was actually a really good thing that Daily Driven Exotics was there at the scene because they were the ones, as you heard in the video, that called 911 to get paramedics out there as soon as possible. Additionally, later they uploaded this particular image saying that everyone was okay. So obviously we're very happy that everyone is okay. Uh, I would look for this within the next couple days. I'd be surprised if we didn't get a video on it. Uh, generally in the past, when they've uh, stumbled upon crazy crashes, we almost always get a video. Totally unrelated note, guys. Uh, still talking about Daily Driven Exotics. A lot of you uh, seem to hint that you really wanted to see Damon and Mike from Street Speed 717 uh, get ready for a big boxing match. Now, neither of these guys are professional boxers currently, but obviously I think be a lot of fun to watch. Uh, I would definitely pay some amount of money for it. I think a lot of you guys sort of ended up at the $20 range uh, from what I could see in the comments, but we can only cross our fingers and hope that we see that in the coming days or months. How long do you think it would take both of them to get in sort of fighting shape uh, to get into a boxing match with each other? Anyway, let me know in the comments below, guys, and on to our next story on Stradman. Next up, guys, let's talk about Stradman's new channel and sort of a weird little scam that's going on. Uh, surrounding his new channel just recently. So here's the deal, guys. If you haven't seen it already, we're gonna provide a link for his actual channel called Strad, all capital letters, in the comments below. It's currently sitting at 152,000 subscribers with only that one video on it uh, where his buddies uh, basically help him try to up his Tinder profile to get a girlfriend. But of course, there are gonna be some people that try to capitalize on the confusion of where to go for that new channel. So what we noticed, and a lot of people sent this to me over the last couple days, is another channel has erected the exact same profile picture, the exact same channel name, probably with some spaces afterward, and even uploaded the entirety of the first video uh, over the last couple days in an effort to try to confuse people to get them to go subscribe to a non-real Strad channel. This guy even went as far as to take other vlogs uh, from Stradman and load them in its entirety, some of them being as long as 24 minutes of just straight content from Stradman's channel with no commentary, would not be covered under fair use. It's kind of a bummer that someone chose to do this. Now I know what you're thinking, 
thinking, hey, why don't you just look at how many subscribers the channel has and that should be able to sort of help you through it and verify which one is correct. Uh, it will, but maybe not to the extent that you'll think. This fake strad channel uh, hid his subscriber numbers from the public, so if you just happen to be looking for his first video, you'll find it on the fake channel, and it's hard to know unless you really pay attention that it's not a real channel. Not surprisingly, there's like 30 other channels that are called Strad as well. Uh, we haven't looked at all of them. I'm sure some of them have something to do with Strad Man or just weird coincidences, but it's kind of a weird thing thing to witness from our perspective. Anyways, we will provide the real link for his real secondary channel, because some of you guys were asking uh, for that over the last couple days, in our info section below. Anyway, just a weird thing we thought we would give you a heads up on. Two more stories left for the day, guys. One from Huey's Garage. The early Cadillac Escalade is a pop culture icon, and I bought the best example ever. Uh, I watched the first couple minutes of this video so far. It seemed pretty hilarious. There's some weird slow-mo stuff. That's all I really want to say. I've been a fan of Hoobie's Garage for a long time. Go watch the video, let me know what you think. And our last video of the day to cover is from Engineering Explained. Why don't solar-powered cars exist? And this is actually a pretty fascinating look into the technology that would be required to produce said car. I've long been a fan of Engineering Explained as well. Uh, just great scientific knowledge. What more can you really ask for? There's no channels that are quite like Engineering Explained in that particular section of Automotive YouTube. Go check out both channels today. Day. I think you'll like them both. Whew. Okay, I think that's it for today. Uh, we are going to have a video on General Palos, I hope, tomorrow about one of the weirdest things ever. Uh, I don't even know how to explain it. It's probably the nerdiest thing about me. Some of you guys might already know this. I almost never talk about it on the main channel, but I'm going to talk about it on General Palos, hope hopefully tomorrow. So anyway, have a great rest of your day, guys. Make sure to stay safe, sane, and healthy. Sub to the channel if you love automotive and supercar community news. And that's all I got. Uh, bye.